All right, let's message Mr. Hacker Loy. Hacker Loy conversation. If Hacker Loy has clicked on it, hi, Mr. Hacker Loy. Oh well. All right. Is one two three four five six seven eight the best password ever? Let's click SMS and send it over. All right. Let's hope Mr. Hacker Loy reply to our message. Let's pause right there for a second. We are not going to answer the question whether 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is the best password ever. Because it is, I mean, reverse psychology, because everybody now is using like 20, 30 characters for their password. And it's so hard to remember. You have upper, lower cases, characters, symbols, numbers. Conversation today is going to be about, is your phone already hacked? And what should you watch out for? That's much more important. And this is the part where we're going to learn today about the importance of making sure that the permission setting inside your phone is proper. Because if it is not, the hackers could see everything that you're doing. They could see all your files, all your photos, all your messages. And right here, I can use Lemon, which is a mobile device management software, or I can use Metasploit, whichever the case is. It allows us access into the entire device because of the permissions inside the phone. If I click update right now, you can see the following. Hi, Mr. Hacker Loy. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The best password ever. Just like that, we managed to see all the messages inside the phone. And we can do much more. We can look at even sending messages on behalf of the user. And this is really scary. So all I got to do is enter, say, for example, 2. And I enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Whichever number you want to when you're doing your real stuff over here on Lemon as a mobile device management or mobile device hacking software. And I see the following, okay? Kindly transfer... $500,000 right now to Hacker Loy. Okay, when I click send, all right, it states the following, SMS send. This is really scary. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's happening on the mobile device level. So right in front of us, we can see the following, conversation with Hacker Loy, kindly transfer $500,000 right now to Hacker Loy, just like that. We sent a message on behalf of the mobile device. Wow, this is mind blowing, okay? This is really scary. You have to manage the permissions inside your phone right now. Take out your phone right now. All right, open up your phone. Go over here, okay? Go into your phone right now. Go to the main page. All right, pull down from the top and you want to click under the settings icon. Go ahead and click on it. So once you're here, you want to click under apps and notifications and you really want to examine all the applications that are installed inside your phone. So in my case, as you can see here, I can click under see all 27 applications. All right, and you can see all the different applications that are installed by default into your phone, as well as all those different kind of applications that you have installed, either from all this different kind of store or you download them from the internet. Whichever the case is, you must be able to review the permissions. So let's take a click under process manager. All right, in this case, I can click on permissions. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kick the hacker out by clicking SMS or whichever permission, as you can see here, I'll click on the SMS. I'll click deny right now, okay? And once I've clicked on it, I go back into the hacking software that you can see right here. I click on our SMS log, I click update. Oh, there's an error. We're not able to see anymore any of the other messages that's been sent and has been copied into the phone. So I can no longer see, all right, any of these messages inside the phone, no matter how many times I click on our updates. Likewise, all right, if I click on our contacts, I click update, I'm able to pull out Hacker Loy's phone number, okay? So by the way, if you want to call me, feel free to just dial one two three four five six seven eight, and you'll be able to reach me right there, okay? That is why you have to review all these permissions inside your phone, else all these applications you could see your photos, your files, your contacts, your messages, and they could do anything they want to your phone.